Hello and welcome to Cheesy Sales Cinema, the program where we make fun of sales, promotional, and training films of the past. My name is Jason Reed, and I am here with my co-host, Chris May. Chris, how are you doing? Doing very, very well, Jason. Love the concept, Cheesy Sales Cinema. Now, we, again, Jason, you know, just like, you know, we, we're, we're fun guys. We're fun guys. But so this is all in fun. This everybody just just take a step back for a second and understand that these these ads or these these videos are decades old. And obviously trends have changed since then. Mm -hmm. Yes, particularly colors. If you love brown and gold, you're going to love this. This comes from the early 1980s, and it's for a product that's going to improve your love life and your marriage. It's expected to even save marriages. And when we found out what it was, when I found out what it was, when you told me about it, Jason, I thought, well, this could be really good. It wasn't at all what I thought it was going to be. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, we're talking about that Casablanca ceiling fan. And it's interesting because I did a little bit of research just before we went on the air here. And yep. I found out that they're still making Casablanca fans and that people love them. And particularly the models from back in the 80s, there's almost a cult around them. Like people collect them. They're like really in to these ceiling fans. Well, so therefore, for those of you that are watching, take very close notice of the ceiling fans in this upcoming video film uh, because you may see one of these in somebody's home in the future and think, hold on a second, that's one of the good ones. Yeah, so it's a good product. Let's see how the film holds up. Here is Casablanca ceiling fans. Make sure you see the stereo. <laughs> Get that in the shot. Really over the top music, don't you think? Well, it worked for Stanley Kubrick. Oh, that's right, Clockwork Orange. That is so creepy. It's not going to do any good to turn it back on. I don't like it. How many times have I heard that? Honey, I know you were trying to do something really special just for me, but that's not going to work. Heard that too. Well, the sales girl at the store thought you'd like it, particularly the price. What's wrong with it? Why don't you like it? Well, it's just not us. You know, what are we I, I see. About? I, I don't know. I just see something different for this room. Ottawa ceiling fan sounds like lingerie. It's easy for oh, consumers to our guy. get confused with the wide variety of ceiling fans being sold around the United States. Ceiling fans, but they're mind boggling. Most fan buyers get past all the hype and make it to a showroom where they can see the full world of Casablanca. That is quite a world. Adventure! Ooh, this music is pumped. Excitement. This is hype. Sales representatives. This is Sunday Night Football from Lambeau Field, Green Bay, Wisconsin, as the Packers take on the bear. Oh my goodness, that's exactly the same music. Somebody was a football fan. I think we have a football announcer here selling the ceiling fan. Listen to this guy's voice. Too bad fan selection isn't a beauty contest. <laughs> Casablanca would win oh, every that was time. Witty. But there are many fan buyers who think that a ceiling fan is nothing more than a motor, four blades, and hmm. possibly a low price. Sounds like a fan to me. That's not a Casablanca Sounds like customer. every single fan I've ever seen in my life. A Casablanca customer wants quality and value and is willing to make the added investment to get it. ka -ching. They deserve oh, that means to get it's the most expensive. accurate information I get it now. available to help their fan buying decisions. What should a buyer expect from a ceiling fan? Well, most First, likely a fan, fan that's mounted on the ceiling. Of moving air to provide efficient comfort in both heating and cooling. Secondly, the fan must operate as silently as possible. Third, it must be maintenance-free and built to last a lifetime. And fourth, it must be easy to install and operate. Lastly, <laughs> it must the fan operate. Becomes That's pretty a key. Part of the yeah, it has decor. to actually work. So its styling must be attractive and elegant. The first requirement for a quality fan is to move air. A ceiling that fan makes sense. is the most pleasant and cost-effective way to provide comfort cooling. So let's take a look. It has to work and it has to move air. So far, we got ourselves a winner. Because 
they use gently turning blades to move large amounts of air with little or no noise. Yes, he just Moving really knows how to describe a ceiling fan. With high pitch. Pitch. That's a Casablanca blade. We look at that one. Other manufacturers use blades with lower pitch that run or faster. Or we just show our move blades shown at a different make angle that makes them look inferior. And use more energy. I was thinking the same thing. It looked like somebody just came from underneath and took a shot of it. Whose man's name is on this envelope? That's not my name. Um, that's just a picture. That's a still frame. And that's a really rickety fan. That's not a Casablanca. Obviously not. But funky music. All right, that's a bit hep cat right there. Even with their higher capacity blades, Casablanca fans will move more air with less energy than a normal light bulb. That's because light bulbs aren't but a ceiling fans. Fan must do more yeah, when was the last time light bulbs moved people. air? <laughs> Typically, ceiling fans move air from the top of a room to the bottom. I don't know. I'm weather, hot. I'm going to take this off and put it there. But now I've got these arrows on me, so I'm getting colder. I'll pick this up again. Now the arrows have gone away. With no loss of comfort. <laughs> Ah, oh. married life. That's about what it boils down the to, bedroom kids. Location Sorry, is that's, what all, that's has all there is. Mind when Staring they design at the ceiling fans. fans. Less expensive fans in remind their owners every bed. night mm. that low price can be costly. Throw the slipper! There. The Casablanca or turn it down. Why did they have to have it on full blast? It. For any ceiling fan to run smoothly and quietly for a lifetime, it must be lubricated. It must Some be. Some fan manufacturers supply a motor that must be maintained and oiled by the homeowner. The ca is he Casablanca wearing camouflage? motor is sealed. The I can't tell where the jacket ends and the room motor. begins. Take that lubrication. A room larger than How hard did he throw that? Should have a large bodied fan, such as. Because large bodied Zephyr. fans make the rock and world go five. round. Ah, uh, Freddie Mercury Victoria. could not have said that any or better, Delta Jason. Two. I agree. A larger bodied fan may still look acceptable in a smaller room. Oh, look really? acceptable. These are the smaller bodied fans, such as the Four Seasons. Definitely not politically correct. Or the Lady Delta. Not at all. This would not fly simple. today. Casablanca oh, the large body fans are only acceptable. Gallery edition models. Oh my God! Looks Selected like Martha Stewart threw up all over this house. These popular fan and light combinations are perfect for those who don't require oh. a totally personalized fan. She looks like she threw up all over that room. There he is again. We want potential buyers to see Casablanca fans on display. The intricate details. That's the, the secret the behind the store now, and isn't it? To compare them to anything else available. More gold and brownness than any other fan out there. Wait, did he get a different wife? I think this is a different actress. This is almost like Three's Company. <laughs> when they switch them sort of halfway through. Oh, got a new roommate now. Apparently the fan <laughs> debate got so Casablanca bad that he ended up with a different a wife. To quality. But he, and she oh, had hers in the garage. And, ah, but the thing is, all's well that ends well. Look how happy they are quality. together. And that was the Casablanca ceiling fan. What do you think, Chris? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what do I think? Uh, I didn't think it was going to be such a dramatic performance. It opened up with a scene that could have been uh, out, of, out, of, out of a Hollywood drama, and then more drama continued to ensue, and then there were scenes, and, and almost looked like it switched to a second act, and... I mean, it was too much. You know, it was it's a ceiling fan ad. Did did we need did we need the the, the cinematic production? Yeah, I mean, I love the idea that they started with a story and ended with a story, and it was kind of the same story, but a couple that 
you know, their marriage was in trouble because he bought the wrong ceiling fan and then he gets the right <laughs> one at the end and it seems like he's just a totally different actress. So I don't even know what happened there. Um, and then you have all these people in the middle. You have the what, pe- a couple that has the birthday. You've got the couple, you know, laying in bed at night staring at the fan. You've got this single woman trying on clothes in an empty room and it's just like, okay, what the heck is going on here? Are we going to tie these stories together? Is the Is the woman in the room uh, looking to, you know, move in on the guy that's got the cast of blanket. Is that going to happen there? But we never saw her come in later on. Mm-hmm. Then there was the woman towards the end with the guy. She's not the same woman that was at the beginning of the film. And this woman tries to uh, inter- tries to throw this guy off his game when he's got a power tool. And that became an action film unto itself. Yes. And, I, you know, it took me like eight times watching it. And I realized in that penultimate scene where he's got the power tool, They've actually put the ceiling fan they didn't like in that room. You notice that? That's yeah. the rickety one that was making all the noise. Ma- and, That's not a Casablanca. And when he goes to talk to her, not only does he have to stop the drill, but he actually yanks the chain of the fan because apparently that's going to be so loud she's not even going to be able to hear him. <laughs> oh, there was a lot of chain yanking going on in that. There was, was- indeed. The, it, and you mentioned about the continuity with the different actors and actresses that were popping in and out. That's where it just became a little a little disjointed as to what what are you trying to tell us here? Or are you just trying to drop us into a collection of different random lives? Mm-hmm. Exactly. So one other question. What did you think of the announcer? And being one yourself, what do you think is going through this guy's mind as he does this commercial? I know exactly what's going through his mind. I hope I never have to do another commercial again (laughs) because now I've gone to ceiling fans. This is a guy who has charisma. This guy has, I love the cut of his jib, but more than anything, the tone and, and, and the pitch and the range of his voice, this guy had Monday Night Football written all over him. He's prime time. I was impressed with the announcer. Yeah, he even had the gold jacket and the brown playbook. And let's face it, brown and gold was like the color of this film. What an era the early 80s were. So for those of you who would like to add your own riffs or if you have questions, put that in the comments on our YouTube page. And speaking of YouTube, you're going to want to subscribe to our channel because if you like this, we've got a whole bunch of great stuff coming up that you are going to love. By subscribing, uh, first of all, you have the op- option to be alerted if you care to do so as to when we have new videos up. But better than anything is you have access to our entire library of videos. That is going to continue to grow exponentially as, as we continue. Also, by letting us know what you like and what you'd maybe like more of, we can grow it and tailor it to basically what – you would like kind of like the way they did in the Casablanca ceiling can ceiling fan video. Yeah. So thanks very much for watching. Again, we got a yeah. lot of great stuff coming your way until next time from Chris May. I'm Jason Reed. See you soon. Bye.